And welcome to Wonder Media Network. Hello. Where is everyone? It's a pandemic, so they're working from home. What is Wonder Media Network? Wonder Media Network is an audio-first media company. Our mission is to amplify underrepresented voices, to inspire action, and to introduce empathy into politics, business, and culture. I'll let the hosts tell you more. My name is Aisha Sasay. I'm Dr. Lucy Kalanithi. Ashanti Golar. Candace Parker. Kate Kelly. Grace Lynch. Jason Kander, and I'm the host of Majority 54. As she rises. Gravity. Moments. Ordinary equality. The Brown Rose Guide to Politics. The brand new podcast, The Accidental Activist. We love working with Wonder Media Network because they are creative. Thoughtful. Women-led. Thought-provoking. And really dedicated to telling complicated, beautiful stories from a rich set of voices. I have loved bringing this project to life life with a team at Wonder Media Network. I love working with mission-driven people that are about bringing people together. There's so much passion that goes into the producing process. Quite frankly, making The Accidental Activist with Wonder Media Network is a joy. What's your favorite part about running a podcast company? There's so much I love about running WMN. First and foremost, the amazing team of hosts and producers and everyone who makes Wonder Media Network run. And then there's the content itself. I believe that audio storytelling is the way that we connect as people. It's how we build empathy. And we get to create content that's meaningful and mission-driven and incredibly entertaining and fun. Since we're with the IAB and all, can you tell me why people would advertise with WMN? I can, but I think that my co-founder Shira would do an even better job. Hey, Jenny. Hi, Shira. So, at WMN, we think advertising should always be content first. And because we're mission-driven, we want to make sure that our brand integrations are too. Over the past few years, we've worked with an incredible mix of brands, from Microsoft, Mercedes, and Macy's, to Planned Parenthood, Act Blue, and General Assembly. We work with D2C advertisers and startups too, from Noom and Wix to Fiverr and Madison Reed. What we offer stretches beyond the traditional CPM model and embraces fully custom campaigns. For example, this March, Mercedes-Benz was looking to target women as part of their Women's Day campaign. We offered them a full month custom takeover of our podcast, Encyclopedia Womanica. It's a five minute daily podcast about women from history who you may not know about, but definitely should. So for Mercedes, we turned the month into a month about women in the driver's seat. Every day, there was a pre-roll ad spot for Mercedes. And on the weekends, we dropped fully custom created bonus episodes in feed to tell the story of amazing women from Mercedes' history and women crushing it at the brand today. We tied in social, press, and media amplification to ensure not only the highest quality content, but a truly scalable campaign. Check it out. This Women's History Month, Encyclopedia Womanica is brought to you by Mercedes-Benz. Today we're highlighting an unexpected champion. She shattered expectations when she won one of the world's most difficult races, becoming a role model and proving there are no limits to what anyone can accomplish. Meet one of Europe's best female drivers, Evie Rufskvist. Wow, isn't she a star? Thank you, Jenny. Bye. Bye, love you. So it sounds like you provide opportunities for brands to display their values where they have expertise. Can you give me an example of that? I can. I think the best place for us to start is with the Brown Girl's Guide to Politics. I'll let Ashanti tell you all about what we have coming up this summer. Hi, I'm Ashanti Golar, the host and founder of the Brown Girl's Guide to Politics. For women of color, our lives are political. We don't have the luxury to ignore the policy and political decisions that are made in this country because most of them disproportionately impact us. The Brown Girl's Guide to Politics podcast looks at politics via the lens of the lived experiences of women of color. In the next season, we will explore how the lives of women of color have changed due to the coronavirus pandemic and how we can use this as an opportunity to once again make our voices heard and bring about systematic changes to improve our lives and those of the next generations. I've loved working with mission aligned sponsors like Planned Parenthood and ActBlue both of whom have a deep commitment to supporting and uplifting women of color. We found creative ways to weave their messaging into our show in a way that's beneficial for our listeners and our partners while allowing us to have important and meaningful conversations. What is one of the biggest issues facing our world? I have to say climate change. Do you have a show about it? We do. It's called As She Rises. With an issue as big as climate change, where do you even start? We're starting at the local level. In As She Rises, we're interviewing local activists and poets about what's happening on the ground around the United States. Grace can tell you more. 
Hi, I'm Grace Lynch. I'm the creator and host of the Wonder Media Network original show, As She Rises. As She Rises is a show about climate change for people like me who find climate change to be kind of an overwhelming topic sometimes. I wanted to have a conversation that was gonna take a different approach, that was gonna make climate change small and tangible and in doing so actually be more effective. As She Rises is talking to local activists who are working in their home to preserve their community and we're pairing that with local poets who are in the same area capturing the change that they're seeing to try to explain this idea of home and how it's changing in the midst of an unprecedented global phenomenon. I'm so happy to be working with Wonder Media Network to create this because infusing empathy into our shows is literally baked into who Wonder is and what it does. I couldn't be more thrilled to be a part of this team. Tell me what you love about audio. Everyone talks about the intimacy of audio, which is totally true. I also love creative sound design. We're doing that with As She Rises and also with our new show, Gravity. Have I told you about that one yet? No, tell me more. Hosted by Lucy Kalanithi, a doctor, a mother, a widow, it's all about looking at hardship differently. She's a beautiful creator and writer. Let's bring her in. I'm Dr. Lucy Kalanithi, and I'm the host of Gravity. Gravity is a show about what becomes possible when we reframe narratives of hardship. In our show, we talk with writer Andrew Solomon about his really unique family and about the myth of the ideal nuclear family. We also talk with Dr. Shakina Elmore and linguist Elena Semino about the battle metaphor in cancer. Is that really the right metaphor? Gravity is a show about hardship, but it's also about meaning and about how to accept life in all of its fullness. I hope you'll take a listen. Okay, so you make shows that really matter, but is the tone always so intense? No, with all of our shows, we make sure that they're textured and that there are moments of levity, even when we're talking about serious topics. For example, we're doing a show with Candace Parker all about parenthood, the ups and downs and everything in between. What's something you wish people knew about WMN that they don't? When people hear startup and mission driven, they often think small and indie. But we've accomplished a huge amount in the past three years. We've worked with multiple Fortune 500 companies, all the biggest platforms, and we've gotten amazing press. And we're just getting started.